Okay, so I just wanted to do a quick little um, video on my mealworms that I just started to uh, try to breed. Um, as you can see, I have a little tote thing. Well, not really. It was $5 at Job Lot. It's a little pull-out drawer thing. There's worms on the bottom, which is full-grown, and I feed. Then there's babies, which is the eggs and the little worms. And then there's beetles, which is obviously going to be the pupa and beetles. Now, for right now, I just have a little bit of cardboard in there for um, to hide under. I don't have any beetles yet. And a little bit of screen underneath. I don't know if you guys can see that. So the babies will fall through into the baby's worms bin. I do have some worms. Hold on a minute. Um, I just put cardboard on that side so they can hide under it. And then they have carrots and stuff. They're in there somewhere. I don't want this whole thing to tip over. Oh, well. There are some in there. I just fed, like, a couple of them to my girl there, my bearded dragon. And, yeah, I got some tubs on top for when I have to pick them out when there's too many or for the pupa to be in. Oh, one other thing. Hold on a minute. <coughs> Is... This is what I'm using to force the worms to pupate. Hopefully they will soon. Um, these are giant mealworms, and I've heard from a lot of people that they don't pupate. But I want to test that and see if it works. I'm going to give these guys a week. If they don't pupate, then I'll move on to regular mealworms. And after that, I'll try superworms. So, I'll check back on these guys in a week. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video.